Hi, my name is Sherman Hostetter of Hostetter Auctioneers, and this is my son. Hi, I'm Matt Hostetter of Hostetter Auctioneers. Today we're gonna to discuss what it's like being a seller at one of our auctions. Let's get started. So what would happen from a seller standpoint is a phone call will come into our office. The seller wants to sell whatever assets they, they might have. It might be an estate, it might be a business liquidation, it might be a piece of real estate, whatever it is, they call into our office. One of our lovely secretaries will then take the phone call and then send it out to the auction sales staff. From there, one of the sales staff members will then come and meet with our sellers and discuss their wants, their needs, what their timeline looks like. What's your goals? What, what are they exactly. trying to accomplish? How soon do they need to get moved? Uh, what's the situation that's creating the auction? So we find out those goals from our sellers. From there, then we engage them with a the contract. Once we get the contract, then we will set up dates for our setup crew to come in and inventory, organize, photograph all of those assets. After that, our marketing team will then take all that data, upload it into our online bidding system and do the marketing for the auction. Uh, once the marketing starts running, we leave it on our site for 10 days to two weeks. Towards the end of that time of 10 days to two weeks, we will do a live in-person preview. Make sure you come to the preview. It's important that you come look at these items. It's hard for us to be able to describe everything about that particular item. And uh, we, sometimes we don't even have the time to plug something in and see if it's working. Uh, so in the process, the best thing you can do is come to the preview and take a look at your items you're interested in. A few days after that, it'll end online. So it's all done online. Uh, it's all done on the, uh, you know, on the computer or on your phone, or your tablet, whatever's convenient for our buyers. After it uh, ends online, then uh, a few days after that will be removal. So what'll happen at removal is Bob Smith buys a riding mower. Uh, we will then email his invoice out to him. We also print out a invoice. Uh, he knows prior to all this that he has to pick up his item on a stated day. Uh, you will get, then be signed in uh, and then we will show you where your item is. So once you locate your item, it's up to you to load your item. So after the, after the removal, uh, about 30 days, we send out a settlement to our sellers. Uh, inside the settlement, it'll have a copy of all the ads that we placed and ran. It'll have a copy of the uh, time sheets for labor. It'll have a copy of uh, each item and who it's sold to. Don't forget the most important thing in that packet. That's right. The your check. To check. Your check for the proceeds will be in that packet as well. So from beginning to end, the timeline is about 60 days. That's 30 days prior to the auction and then 30 days for settlement uh, with our sellers. Uh, and that's it in a nutshell. Did we miss anything, Sharon? No, I think that's a pretty easy system, and the nice part is they don't have to do any of it. We do it all. That's right. 